Greetings from one of the best airports in the world. We are here at Changi International in Singapore. Now I do have to say that it's not the best airport in the world anymore. I guess it is Qatar as voted by Skytrax. But Changi was voted as the best for like eight years in a row and it's still in like the top three now. So I'm sure it's still absolutely fabulous. But for this trip, I have a bit of an odd situation, you could say, where I'm flying with Scoot from Singapore to Osaka, and my flight is at 8 a.m., meaning that I would have to get here at like 5 to be on time for check-in, meaning that I would have to get up at 3 to like get ready and then get a taxi to the airport. The tricky thing is that the airport hotels that they have here in Changi are of course on the expensive side. It basically begins at like 300 Singaporean dollars, which is like 250 US. There are supposed to be some free sleep lounges here in Terminal 1. You just have to get there early enough to like nab a place so that is my current game plan uh, but I guess we'll just see how things go. <laughs> What's really cool though and what I will already give Scoot the airline points for if this ends up being the case is that here in Singapore it is said that you can use their self-service check-in uh, kiosks to check in up to 19 hours before your flight. That would be fantastic if that's the case because that would mean that I can get rid of my like not get rid of but like check in my checked baggage so I'm not like hauling it all around the airport or spending $20 to put it into baggage storage. All right guys wish me luck I'm going to try and check in exactly 19 hours early. I'm not gonna film as I do it because you know personal information but I will let you know how it goes. All right guys good news. <laughs> after actually a whole bunch of runaround. Uh, this was my third time going to the counters because the kiosks weren't working. Like even though I was within the 19 hour window, it kept saying like unavailable, like it's not time to check in yet, go to the assistance thing. So I go there and the first person who helps me uh, says oh it's just not time yet even though it was he says come back in an hour so I go sit around <laughs> for an hour and then I go to a help desk and uh, they said no like you're still not within the time frame so then I go to somebody else because that person just didn't seem to want to help me and I get a really nice lady she was super sweet she was trying her best to help me but on her end as well they were getting some kind of issues of not allowing me to check in since my flight isn't today but then a guy comes along and he somehow is able to like change something on the system and i was able to get all checked in so it's a whole run around i don't know if i would say that you know if you come here and you're with scoot that it's going to be easy for you to check in 19 hours early but uh Hopefully everything is taken care of. Hopefully my baggage meets me when I'm in Osaka. But I officially just have my hand luggage with me. So let's go explore Jewel. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, I knew that there was a ridiculously amazing waterfall in this airport, but when you actually see it, it's on another level. Like obviously it's a man-made waterfall with the design of the building, but all around it they have this amazing like rainforest canopy and it's all real, like it's not fake plants or something. is by far like the best you know airport terminal that I have ever been in and they're actually very smart with how they design this I think because even though I'm sure terminal one two three and four all have good things to offer it's great they have just one place that you can reach I think fairly quick from all the other terminals that's just like a compact area 
that has everything you need. Because one thing that I actually hate about certain airports is they will have one area of the airport really, really good that only people flying from a certain terminal will be able to access. And then other areas are just so crap. are officially on the top floor and it is just as I thought where it is not free to do all of the attractions at the airport which is fine uh, but they do charge like $14 to get into the canopy park to like walk around it there's a maze there's this walking net I was actually thinking of doing this and then you get entry to the canopy park as well that's the one that I'd probably go with but then they have a lot of other stuff like a mirror maze a trampoline net kind of park thing some kind of driving simulation and if you really wanted to go all out they have bundles with a whole bunch of different stuff starting at $40 and the most expensive one is 71 Singaporean dollars so that's like 60 US so kind of expensive to be honest and it's also really nice that there's so few people here right now I don't know if it's like this on other days or I just got really lucky but especially here in the canopy park there's not a lot of people there's no lines for anything so y'all know I don't like crowds so this is great this is so cool guys I think I chose the right thing okay this is crazy look at this <laughs> oh guys, this is surprisingly harder than it looks, at least this first part because it's kind of slanted and I'm, you know, trying to film as I do this. I'm almost at the top. I'm almost at the top. Yes, I made it. <laughs> Jesus, this is so crazy. Look at this. It just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> this is, I think, three levels underneath the ground level. There's a freaking Don Quixote over there. Anybody who's been to Japan <laughs> will know what I'm talking about. It's endless. I really don't know how anyone could really see all of this airport, like all the four different terminals unless they were staying here for a minimum of two days and even then you'd probably miss some stuff and it'd be such a waste if you only came here for like a three hour layover you'd literally just see the fountain maybe grab some food and then you have to be off to your gate i'm very glad <laughs> that i am staying overnight here and have at least a good six seven hours to explore the airport so in honor of heading to Japan, I thought I would try this place that I've never been to before. It's called Hashino Hand Drip Coffee. It's a Japanese brand that has some really unique coffee blends from different parts of the world. And then I would like to try some of their dessert, which also looks really good. Alright friends, it is about 7 p.m. I did a few hours of shopping in Jewel, didn't buy anything because, well, you don't want your bags to be overweight. 
but since I am all checked in, I think it's just as well that I should go through security in Terminal 1 uh, where my flight is going to be taking off from. I actually have a lounge pass that I can use uh, once I pass security and maybe get some like free dinner in there. And from what I've read, they do have a sleep pod actually in the lounge. You do have to pay extra for it. I'm not sure how much it is. But if it is reasonably priced and if it's available, uh, that would be a dream. That would be amazing if I could actually have a pseudo sort of bed. And if it's not, in that scenario, I guess I will just have to try and find a place in the sleep lounges if they're free or on the ground or on a bench. <laughs> We're gonna see what we can get. <laughs> actually I like that you can be in these pods <laughs> with stuff to plug in your devices the food looks really good got a green tea and yeah I'm just gonna chill here for probably like two hours and then try and find somewhere to sleep because unfortunately the pods here are all booked up it somehow feels much later than 9 p.m. right now. I think it's because I didn't get the best sleep last night. I maybe only got six, seven hours, which, you know, when you're over 30, it's just not enough. So I am now going to go and try and find the free sleep lounge that they have here. And from what the lady told me, it's not too far away. Okay, so I found it. This is the snow. This is the smoking area. What did it say? Snooze lounge. What is this? Oh my god, is that it? No. Oh no. This is not good. I don't think there's even a bed available. Oh frick. to do guys I expected that it would be busy but it's still kind of early and I would have thought number one they would have had more chairs and number two why would you put a snooze lounge literally in a like food court area and there's bright lights everywhere everything else in this airport is like perfect spectacular, very well thought out, terrible, terrible sleep lounge. Like I get that they want people to spend money on their airport hotels, but like at least put it in a proper place away from noise and have it dimmer and you know a few more chairs would be nice. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do. I mean, in a way, I know what I'm going to do. I only have so many options. Either I splurge for the airport hotel or I just stay awake and then try and sleep on the plane. I never really have success with that. Or I guess the third option is, I don't know, look around the airport for other places to possibly sleep. Thank you. 
I wish I could say good morning, but there's not much good about it. Oh, that was such a rough night, guys. Things did not go well. Maybe I got like one hour of sleep because even though I found, you know, a fairly good place to lay down, it was just so loud. Just people talking so loud. Even with my earplugs, it was very hard to like block it out. And then I lost my really good sleep mask that blocks out the light. So the really crappy one I have didn't, didn't do a good job of that. And probably worst of all, I started to feel so cold. I don't know if it's just because I stopped moving or they turned up the AC or what, but I was like shaking. I was so cold. So yeah, I've basically just been up for most of the night, either walking around, getting like snacks. I just had breakfast again at the lounge and I was planning on filming my flight, but to be honest, I'm just so tired right now that as soon as I get on the flight, I'm gonna try my best to fall asleep right away. Cause I land in Osaka at like three in the afternoon. And if I go this long with like next to no sleep, it's gonna be bad. So I'm gonna end the video here outside of the end part of this video. I hope you guys saw what an amazing airport this is. I still had a great time, but yeah, I honestly would not I would not recommend sleeping here. I would not recommend sleeping in any airport probably unless you absolutely have to. I think the ideal is if you have a flight in the evening uh, where you can then come a lot earlier and enjoy the airport all during the day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. The next time you see me, I will be in Japan. So that is very exciting. So until then, keep being your own kind of beautiful. Bye guys.